Hi again, my dear students. Today in this video, we will learn how to use the past simple tense. We will know what is the definition of the tense, what are the keywords, and how can I make questions, and so on. Simple past tense, or the past simple tense. We use the simple past tense to talk about what happened at a definite time in the past. Definite here means a specific time. Look, I use the simple past tense to talk about something happened in a specific time in the past. There are some common expressions we use in the past, like yesterday, last night, a month ago, last week, yesterday afternoon, or I can say yesterday morning, yesterday evening, okay, all these expressions in the past. And here I have mm, a lot of keywords for the past simple tense, like yesterday, last week, last month, last year, a few days ago, ago here is the keyword of the past simple tense, the other day, when I use the other day in the sentence, that means the sentence in the past. Just now, just now too means few moments ago. When I say I ate my sandwich just now, that means I ate it few moments ago. And in 2000, in 2000, in 2009, 2012, so any year in the past, okay? Once, once to is a keyword of the past simple, like when I say once upon a time, that means when I'm gonna tell somebody a story from the old days, I used I use once upon a time, okay? Or once a day. So once is the key word of the past simple tense. Here, the simple past tense, I use it to talk about a past action, a past action. Look here, examples. Last month, we climbed Ganang Ledding. By the way, Ganang Ledding is a mountain in Malaysia, okay? So last in the sentence, that means the verb will be in the past, like climbed, okay? Climbed. Yesterday, the dog saved its master. Yesterday is a keyword of the past simple. So the verb will be in the past, save in the present. It's going to be saved in the past. Number three, my mother bought two train tickets two minutes ago. Ago is a keyword of the past simple. So the verb will be in the past, which is boat. My mother bought. Here, to change verbs into the simple past tense. In the regular verbs. Okay, the first case, just add ed, ed to regular verbs like paint. Paint is a regular verb. Add ed to make it in the past. Faint, painted. Wash, washed. The second case, add d to regular verbs that end in e. Mm. Look here, save. Save is a regular verb. Ends with e. So I have to add d to make it in the past. That's so easy. Like love, ends with E, add D to make it in the past. So save, saved, love, loved. Here, replace Y with I, E, D for regular verbs which end in Y. Look here, I have two cases to Y. If letter Y, mm, look here, carry. Before letter Y, I have letter R, which is consonant, a consonant letter. When I find consonant letter, before letter Y, just erase Y, delete it, cross it as you like, and write IED. Carry, carrot. Dry, dried. Look here, R is a consonant letter, so hmm, erase Y and write IED. Okay? I have another case for Y. Okay, if I find a vowel letter before Y, just add ed. That's so easy. Like play, P-L-A-Y. Here I have A, so just add ed. It's going to be played. Pray, prayed, okay? Irregular verbs. Some irregular verbs are changed, like lead in the present, led in the past. Swim in the present, swam in the past. Some irregular verbs are not changed, like cut in the present, cut in the past, hit in the present, Head in the past. How can I know? I'm going to tell you. Just save and study all these words like this. Okay? And here I have more irregular verbs. Like feel in the present, felt in the past. Break, broke. Leave, left. Drive, drove. Bring, brought. Blow, blew. Spend, spent. 
send, sent, hold, held, put, put. So you have to study and save all these verbs inside your mind. To make it easier, I have the spelling rules here. The, fir the first rule, most verbs add ed. We said the regular verbs like help, ed, add ed. So it's going to be helped, fence, fenced. Okay, the second rule, verb ending in vowel plus y, add ed, like stay, stayed. So, ha, huh, vowel, which is a, before y, so add ed, stayed. Play, played. Okay, this is the second rule. The third one, verb ending in consonant plus y, change y to, ha, huh, i, ed, excellent. Like cry, cried. Try, tried. And verb ending, vowel consonant, vowel and consonant, just double the consonant and add ed, like stop. Here I have a vowel letter which is O and consonant letter which is P, so I have to double letter P and put ed, like stop, stopped, travel, traveled, okay? The last rule, verb ending in E, just add, excellent, just add D, only D, like hope, hoped, die, died, excellent. And here, to make yes or no question, I have to start my question with that. That plus subject plus the verb in the infinitive, okay, and the rest of the question, okay? Let's have an example. Did you go out in the cold? Here I have did at the beginning of my question. After that, the subject, which is you. Go, the verb in the present. Out in the cold, the rest of the question. Did you go out in the cold? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Did you like the movie? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. And here to look. Did subject plus bear infinitive or the present in. Did you eat? Did you sleep? Did she cook? So you have to answer yes or no, dead or didn't, okay? How can I make WH questions in the sample test? Let's have a look. Look here. We used what, where, when, who to ask for things, places, time, and people. What did Ellen do? So I have here what? WH word. After that, did. After that, the subject and the verb in the present or bare infinitive in the question. What did Ellen do? Ask for a thing. Where did John play? Ask for a place. When did any study? Ask for time. So what for things? Where for places? When for time? The only case... I'm not going to add did after the WH word is who. Who, just put the verb in the past simple tense only, like who played with my toys. Ask for people. Who ate my sandwich? Who slept on my bed? So, the only case I'm not going to add did is with who, okay? So, again, the structure for what, where, when is WH question, which is what or where or when, plus did in the subject, in the verb, in the present, in the question. The structure for who. Who, there is no did. With who, there is no did. Just the verb in the simple past or the past simple and the rest of the question. Okay? Here, let's have some questions. What did you hold? What did you hold? Hold here in the bare infinitive. Look at the girl. What did you hold? She answered, I held a frog. Held, held in the past. What did you bake? What did you bake? Bake in the infinitive. So he's going to say, I baked a cake. Baked, baked in the past. What did you wear? What did you wear? I wore medans. I wore, wore in the past. What did you fix? What did you fix? Fix in the present or in the bare infinitive. So it's going to be 
I fixed my bike. Fixed in the past. And now we have finished our lesson for today. If you have any question, just ask me in the discussion time. And thank you a lot.